Hey everyone, I just wanted to share a quick video about uh, one of the things I've been working on for the little while in the past. Uh, I'm going to be making packages every now and then for serpents, and this is one that I feel has been a big need, and it's called um, the toggle key map node, and this is part of my program extras package. And what this node does is it basically finds a key map that's in Blender's key maps that are already installed and you can toggle that key map off or you can um, just do a disable or enable it's got multiple features and it, it will find any key map and do it um, I've done a couple of design revisions on this and I think I have finally got one that works really well and uh, I mean one design critique about this node is it's huge but I feel like when you add the node you can always scale it down when you're done with it it's big to help it be a little more user friendly and we've got a little link here that takes you to this website where it gives a couple of examples on how to use it so you have a key map at the top that you want to uh, click the checkbox on or off on and we have uh, little numbers that correlate to each of the sections and you have to match up all of these sections in order for it to work so I was gonna go through and show an example of how to do this and let's go ahead and jump right into blender so inside Blender, I just have my workspace set up into the preferences and a Serpents graph. And we'll first install and download the package. So just click on load packages. And you're going to look for the one that says program extras. And you just click on this link here. And it'll take you to the Gumroad page. And you can just come in here. It's free if you're welcome to donate if you'd like. I, I've spent a lot of time on this node. So any donations would be appreciated, but you don't have to. And then click on I want this, and you can download the latest copy. So just click on Get, and Download Package, and then it will be the Program Extras 1.0.2. Once you have that package downloaded, you go back to Blender. And inside of your node graph, um, if you haven't started a graph, just click on New. And I would recommend doing this in a like a new clean instance of Blender. Don't do it on the file you have previously loaded just because you have to close Blender afterwards. So um, save before you close, I guess, is the is the warning. So you'll come over to the Serpents end, end panel and come on down to Extensions and open up Packages and Install Package. And then just go to your Downloads and look for that Program Extras. And install package and it will install and it'll say hey you need to restart blender to see the package um, so we're going to go ahead and do that now all right now the blender's been rebooted i'm going to go down to the key map section on my preferences and i'm going to come in here and just for instruction purposes i'm going to use a trigger node and then if you go to the add menu you can go here and it's shown here or you can do shift a and then program extras and like i said this node is huge click on execute to connect these two here and i like to just turn on toggle active uh, so i can verify i found the right key map and key map item properties this is a feature that exists on some key maps and some don't have it so we're gonna we're gonna go through two examples so let's go to the example that's using it first. So let's say I want to grab a call menu key map and we're going to do it on mesh, the right click call menu. And I'm going to, I'm going to duplicate this workspace just real quick to show the 3D viewport. We'll go into edit mode and this is the menu that I'm going to be turning off. So the right click call menu. So we have the right mouse, this is what I want to turn off so when I right click nothing happens and the way that this works is you have what's called the key map then you have the key map item name the key map item ID name and then this is the key map item properties name and so you just come in here and a cool feature I did for this on the latest revision is you don't need to capitalize so you can just type stuff out the first two and then you can copy these right into the node 
Now you're not done. You have to actually match these up as well because key maps are notoriously frustrating to find. Um, you have two key maps here that have the exact same name. So mesh, call menu, WM call menu. They even have the same properties name as well. So the only thing that differentiates these two key maps is the fact that you have different settings over here set. So one set to mouse and one set to keyboard. So if I want to toggle this one, I have to set up keyboard and application and all the other properties. So we're going to do that. So let's do mouse for this one. And then you click in here and find the, the key you need to toggle. We've got press, nothing else is set. And I should be able to click on this and you can see it toggle now. So if I wanted to turn this off, I can uncheck this and just turn on and disable. So now it will disable it. And if I want to enable it, I can enable it. So let's say I wanted to find this one instead. Well, I'll just duplicate this node down. And instead of mouse, I'm going to go to keyboard and look for application. And I can actually do multiples in a row. So come in here, I'm going to set toggle and run trigger. And now it's going to do both. We got one more example to share. So let's do one that doesn't have a properties name. So I'm just going to come up here to the 3D view and we'll just go to object mode and let's do scale. So resize is has a bunch of stuff in it, but it doesn't actually have a properties name. So I'm going to duplicate this down one. And we'll uh, cut this off. And so here's my key map. And this is why I decided to make it a little more user friendly. So you don't need to worry about doing caps, but you do need to get the exact spelling. So 3D view tool scale, we want resize and transform dot resize. Now I don't need this one, so I can actually just toggle it off. You can clear it out or leave it in, it doesn't matter. And now, let's see here, tool scale, transform, resize, and I need to set up this to be mouse. Mouse and left mouse. And we need left with click drag. Uh, so left mouse is there, that's the same thing. Um, then we want to change this from press to click drag. And then now that should find it. So it's not that hard to troubleshoot, to be honest, as long as you get all these set up. This is probably the hardest part is just getting these, these set the way these are made. Um, and this will even work for really interesting key maps, like there's one here in the Windows section that's using a timer. And when you open this one up, like it doesn't have anything else other than the timer. And so I've coded in to support um, timer and text input because they don't have anything else like the other ones do. So I can do window, um, then the key map item. And then I don't need to worry about anything else other than setting this to timer. So you can leave the rest of these things um, however you want. If it sees a timer or it sees the text input, it's not going to care about the rest. And now I can toggle that. You might be asking yourself, well, why do I need to do this? Um, what, what's the purpose of toggling off a key map? Well, this is where it comes in really handy. So if I wanted to do the call menu, and I wanted to toggle both of these off. I could make the add-on do that via my add-on preferences. So do an operator here. And then rather than toggling these active, I would just set these to be um, disabled. Add in a button, tie that to my operator.
So disable the mesh call contacts menu and you could do another group to enable it. And then um, if I go to my Serpent's out on preferences now, and I click on disable, those key maps have been disabled now. And now I can add in my own on key press for that functionality. So I could do, you know, 3D view, set this to be right click, and I have a panel that I want to call instead, and it's going to be a shortcut only panel. Let's go to panels here. ourselves in a small icon make it make it fun just go here to my e drive now I've got my own panel that's replaced that context menu Let's see if I can get a better one with the alpha here that one instead yeah there we go so hopefully that helps and this is a good demonstration of why you would want to use such a feature and this doesn't natively exist having to find this stuff is extremely complex and if you have the keep code log on with serpents you go to settings here and you have keep code file you can actually see the generated code from that node and it, it's quite a bit. Um, a lot of key map searching to find all those features that are associated with each of those key maps. And it's all built into one node now. So I hope this, uh, hope this tutorial helps those who are wanting to do similar features and you can make Blender your own, even, even the Blender key maps. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.